most local water supplies have chlorine in it. But the levels are far from toxic to humans. But chlorine, even in small amounts, is toxic to fish. It burns their gills, gets absorbed into their bloodstream, and ultimately kills the fish. So before you add local water to your fish tanks, you need to remove the chlorine. The least expensive way to dechlorinate water is to allow it to evaporate. At room temperature, chlorine is a gas. Leave the water in an open bucket for 24 hours and the chlorine evaporates. After 24 hours, it's safe to use in aquariums. Great if you have one small aquarium, but what if you're doing a 20% water change on a 400 gallon tank? Or have a lots of little tanks? Do you just leave out lots and lots of buckets? Hey Shelly, how about if I take care of dinner tonight? Do you deliver? It is the least expensive way to dechlorinate water, but it is a bit inconvenient and can take up considerable space. Sodium trisulfate, an inorganic compound, dechlorinates water quickly, making the water fish safe right away. No way. Commercial products are available that contain sodium trisulfate, but these can get expensive. The higher the volume of water changes, the more expensive dechlorinating becomes. The 16.9 ounce bottle of Seachem Prime costs $13.48. That works out to about 27 cents per 100 gallons. 16 ounces of API tap water conditioner costs $9.49. This conditions about 9,460 gallons. The cost is about 10 cents per 100 gallons. But I can get that cost down to just under 1 cent per 100 gallons and the solution dechlorinates the water just as quickly as the commercial products. I paid $3.25 for this one pound bag. It's about 450 grams, give or take. I'm using 250 grams to make a half gallon solution. I will leave the rest in the bag and store in a cool dry place away from extreme temperatures or light. Dissolve the sodium trisulfate in a quart of lukewarm water. Pour that into a half gallon container. Add a quart of lukewarm water to the container and just shake a little. This is now a concentrated water conditioning solution. Two drops dechlorinates a gallon of water immediately. That works out to about half a milliliter for five gallons. I used a marked syringe to measure out small amounts. However, sodium trisulfate does not eliminate chloramine another chemical used by municipalities in water supplies to disinfect the water. This chemical is also harmful to your fish. Contact your local water supplier and ask if chloramine is in the water. If so, you will need a commercial product designed to remove chloramine. With this solution, my dechlorinating cost is down to less than a penny per 100 gallons. Like the more expensive commercial products, this solution removes the chlorine immediately, so there's no need for this. I can dechlorinate just under 20,000 gallons of water with this half gallon sodium trisulfate solution. That's five years worth of weekly 20% water changes for a 400 gallon tank. This DIY water conditioner is low cost easy to use, store, and eliminates the need for the bucket method of dechlorinization. It's an easy project and you can do it yourself. Thanks for watching.